scientists wanted to measure the carbon footprint of major metropolitan areas. But where to start? How about a city that's notorious for its poor air quality? Los Angeles. Sunlight's coming into this dome. It hits uh, a mirror here and then passes down through five stories of the building to what's called a spectrometer in the basement. Professor Paul Wemberg is capturing sunshine in a tube to measure the molecules that make up greenhouse gases. His colleague from NASA, Riley Duran, shoots a laser into the sky to measure microscopic dust in the air. Data comes from cars roaming the freeways and surface streets of L.A., stationary instruments at key locations sniffing the air across the basin, airplanes and satellites that beam data back to Earth. Downtown Los Angeles is just on the other side of this mountain. This is Mount Wilson, a historic radio array and telescope site a mile above the basin. And from here, it's all haze. It's really hard to tell with all the smog. Every time Los Angeles exhales, these instruments are perfectly placed to test for greenhouse gases. Los Angeles is essentially a giant laboratory for climate studies. We have 18 million people over about four counties, lots of freeways. Researchers won't be able to pinpoint carbon sources down to the individual street or landfill, but they should be able to tell if switching buses from diesel to alternative fuels has any effect. Answering direct policy or decision-related questions that policymakers at the level of local governments are asking. Raquel Maria Dillon, the Associated Press, Pasadena, California.